What's up, everyone? This is Steven, a.k.a. Teros, from Bankroll Builders Fantasy Sports at bankrollbuildersfantasy.com. I'm here to bring you an introduction into Prediction Strike. We've recently found this site and started playing into it, and we're going to be producing Prediction Strike content, including some YouTube shorts to help you make good decisions on who to invest into. So without further ado, let's get into Prediction Strike and see what this site is all about. What Prediction Strike has done is combine fantasy sports with the stock market. Think of it this way. Each of these players is going to be their own company. And that company is going to have price gains and price losses based on two factors. The first of which is very common just like with the stock market. It's going to be based on how many people are purchasing versus how many people are selling. Now, with Prediction Strike, it's not a matter of there has to be someone selling a stock in order for you to purchase. You're purchasing and selling with the company itself. So, you can purchase anybody at any time without restrictions. It's the middle of the baseball season. It's off-season for football, but you can see that Miles Boykin has had his price increase based on people buying him on the during the off season. So let's have a look at that as well. We're going to go into Miles Boykin real quick just to illustrate what we're talking about. In the middle of the season last year, in the 2021 season, Miles Boykin wasn't doing anything with fantasy production. But for some reason, the Discord community turned him into kind of a meme stock. Just like in the stock market with GameStop and AMC, where that stock got hyped up and people just started buying in, buying in, buying in and driving that price up. Same thing happened with Miles Boykin last season. He actually went up by 300% and people started selling off. His price went down, it went back up, it went back down, it went back up. But over the course of the season, he had a gain of roughly 200%, which is significant. So, that kind of illustrates just how a lot of people buying in one moment or in one short period of time versus people selling will increase the price of that particular stock. Now, you can only purchase up to $500 of a particular stock at the moment, a particular player. Uh, that price, I believe, is supposed to be going up here in the next couple of months. As the company is growing, they'll allow for larger investments into these players. The other limitation, you can only purchase 300 shares of a player at a specific transaction, but you can multiply or repeat that transaction multiple times. I've got 900 shares of Miles Boykin at the moment. I did that through three transactions. So that's allowed as long as I don't go above $500 that I initially invest. Now, if the stock price causes the gains to go above $500, that's all right. I just can't add any more money on top. So the second factor that affects these players is the fantasy produ production. Let's have a look at the baseball season because that's what we're in right now. Players like Jose Ramirez, Leody Taveras, Juan Soto, Jordan Alvarez are all in the middle of their season. These batters are playing almost every night. We're just after the All-Star break. So they took a small break, did the All-Star game, and now they're back at it. Let's have a look at Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez, and we'll use this to illustrate, Jose Ramirez has a projection of 6.1 fantasy points. This projection is produced by Prediction Strike themselves. They have their own system for fantasy project production and a point system that they used for each of the sports. And that's what they'll do. They'll create a projection and then you're essentially hoping that the people that you've invested into are going to beat those projections consistently. So looking at you, Jose Ramirez, we see that 
projection for tonight was 6.17. He did 6.92 fantasy points, so he beat it by a small amount. So his price went up a small amount. He got a little boost to his price. So if a lot of people are buying a particular player, or even if it's staying neutral and that player is outperforming their projections, that stock price and the value of that player in each of his shares will go up. Same is true for the reverse. He had a part of the season where his bat had gone cold. He wasn't beating his projections very well. So his stock price was going down. And more than likely, as a player is not producing well, some of the other investors are going to start selling off on that player. That's when you can go in and you can buy the dip if it's a player that is just underperforming for what his average is. We can get into that in later videos, but I just wanted to use that to illustrate real quick what we're talking about. So that price is going to be affected based on how many people are purchasing versus selling and the fantasy production of that player. Now, we'll get into this a little bit more during football season, but there's four different sports that prediction strike is doing at the moment they've got the nba for basketball nfl for football the ufc for mma and the mlb for baseball each of these sports they've got their own algorithm uh Baseball, currently they've got the Yahoo Sports projection and point system, and then they make a couple of tweaks to it themselves. Football will have its own point system. UFC, of course, will have its own point system as well. Now, with each of these sports, there are little bits and differences between them with regards to caps. With baseball, there's a cap on the pitchers and there's a cap on the batters. You can only go up or lose 10% at the most each game for baseball. In football at the moment, there is no cap. For the UFC, there is no cap. So it's possible for, in those sports, for an individual to go up on a single performance by 30 40 50% in one game. And with that, you want to be able to kind of choose or select the right kind of person in order to get those gains. For example, during the football season in 2021, James Conner was out producing a heck of a lot. He actually went up by five or six times his initial value at the beginning of the season because of his performances and had gains of 70% in single games. So with that... Let's have a look at the Prediction Strike app in particular. There's a couple things you'll see on this app when you first come in. Down at the bottom is where you're going to be able to find the navigation tools. You've got your personal portfolio, the Explore tab, the News tab, and then your personal account. Let's start off with looking at the portfolio. In here, I can go into specific sports and have a look at what my players are doing in each of those. I can filter the data that I'm looking at based on what I'm interested in. I can look at the total return dollar amount or I can look at the total return percentage. I can look at a single game percentage. I can look at the last seven days and see how my guys have done over time. If I look at that, I'm seeing 9% gain on Laity Tavares, which means I'm doing well with him. There's no reason to sell him but I might be interested in selling Jordan Alvarez if I think that he's going to continue to not produce when it comes to fantasy points. When you're looking through the players in the Explore tab, you're able to take them and add them to a watch list. So I've got a watch list including Aaron Judge, Paul Goldschmidt, and a couple of others. Looking at the top, you can see your portfolio value and the amount of remaining cash that you have available to you to invest. Going through here, you can look at the popular buys, who people are looking at, who people aren't looking at, and who's getting purchased and who's getting sold. Right now, you're seeing a lot of UFC fighters on here. That's because there's a UFC 
match going on today, so there's a lot of people getting purchased and sold right now. Looking at the Explore tab, we can see who's trading frequently right now. We've got Chris Curtis, we've got Giannis, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that last name. I never do well with it. But we've got Giannis, we've got Patty Pimblett, we've got TJ Hawkinson. Like I said, we're in the middle of the offseason, but people are still buying and selling NFL players at the current moment based on the news that it's coming out. You can see a couple of different things. You've got the search bar at the top. You can filter that for a specific sport, and then you can filter it by position. All of that is available when you're exploring on who you want to invest into. If you just pull up the regular search bar, it's going to have the most expensive players that are out there at the moment. Derrick Henry, most expensive football player at the moment. Jokic, most expensive basketball player. Aaron Judge, most expensive baseball player at the moment. You can also look at who's playing today, the top risers, and even it has a buy the dip option. So that will look at who has been performing okay and has a sudden dip in their performance or their price. If it's someone that you think is underperforming for a short period of time, like in baseball, you have a period where you've got your bat is considered hot, and then you'll go into a cold period where you're not performing very well. But then usually you have a hot period again after that. If you want to buy the dip on someone during that, you can select on that particular tab and go have a look at who might be a good option for you. Looking down towards the bottom, you've got trending players as well once again, and then the top performers in the market. That way you can filter out all of those that are getting sold or are underperforming and just have a look at who's been consistent over the past seven days. Going over to the news tab, you've also got all of the information and news reports coming out of Rotoballer. It's automatically updated, so as Rotoballer updates, you'll get that news in here and you can sort it by the different sports. Looking at the account, you can do a couple of things on the app. Uh, you set up your own personal bank account. You're going to need to do this in order to be able to withdraw in the future. There are two options for depositing funds. You can use a bank account or now they've recently added the credit card option as well. You can submit for the funds to be withdrawn. It will take a couple of days up to a week in order for those funds to come into your account. You can review your transactions, whether you just want to see the money that you've put in or if you want to see the sales and purchases that you've done of individual players. Let's say that you sold or you purchased Matt Carpenter a little while back. You can go in and see, okay, well, how much did I initially put in so that you can see, okay, do I want to... When I sell him, am I actually gaining on that or did I lose money after the fees? That's one thing I do want to mention with you. There, the way that Prediction Strike works, every time you make a transaction, there's a 2.5% fee that they charge. That's how they make their money with the app is on those fees. So day trading means that when you come in, you're going to pay 2.5% fee of whatever you're purchasing in order to purchase someone like, let's say, Le'Veon Bell or Miles Boykin. You come in, you purchase 300 shares of Miles Boykin. It's, let's just use round numbers, it's $100 in order to do that. They're going to charge you $102.5 in order to do that transaction. When you go to sell him for $200 of value, they're going to take $5 from that, 2.5%, and then the rest will go into your account. Now, we're going to be doing a bit of content as we go through. Uh, looking real quick, 
Make sure that you like and you subscribe to this video down below. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you put the notification bell on so that you don't miss any of our content for Thrive Fantasy, Prediction Strike, or any other sites that we may be coming out with soon. It's likely that we'll probably be getting a little more into DFS and a little bit into Dynasty Football as well. Now, if you're wondering how to get signed up, how to get started with prediction strike you can use our referral code and with that referral code you will get once you deposit twenty dollars you'll be able to get a free share of an individual player just remember to use code c0b00b it's right there at the bottom of that of that paragraph and we'll make sure to put it into the links down below in the description of this video. So with that, I would say go on to Prediction Strike and make sure that once you join Prediction Strike, you join the Discord community as well. They have a fantastic Discord community that I have actually gone on to and become one of the experts of as well. They've got all sorts of different things. They've got a PS Storm, uh, which is a competition that they're going to be doing here in the next couple of weeks for different teams. I am part of Team Island of Misfit Toys, so feel free to check out that. Our Twitter hashtag is at Team Misfit Toys. Join us, come follow us on there. But you can look in here in the Discord community. You can look at what the experts are choosing. Only the experts are allowed to comment in that section. You've got the NFL. You've got UFC. And you've got a lot of very smart individuals on each of these in order to kind of learn a little bit of what everybody else is seeing, what they're looking at, if Prediction Strike changes, how they're doing the projection system or the point totals for something or even they're adding a cap or reducing a cap on a specific sport you'll be able to see what the experts and those that are investing frequently are doing inside of that app and where they're putting their money so with that Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Once again, my name is Steven. I'm with with uh, <laughs> Bankroll Builders Fantasy Sports. That is bankrollbuildersfantasy.com. Once again, thank you, and have a fantastic day.